all right hello everyone this is blood queen tira and i am here to do an after dark reading today is saturday july the 22nd oops and um i get my after dark reading from 7 p.m to 5 a.m the next day I go by Eastern Standard Time, so if you guys go by a different time zone, then you can apply the timer as you see fit. Um, so keep in mind that the reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that timing is fluid, so this reading can manifest after dark hours tonight. It can manifest later on down the line of time after tonight, or this present after dark reading could be past energy for you. If this present after dark reading is past energy for you, then there, might, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading that pertains to your past situation or circumstance. So, I didn't get any messages during the pre-shuffle, but I will say, um, I channeled a message. I started singing a song. It was so unexpected. It was like a gospel song. Um. Nah, I forgot it. <laughs> but it was a gospel song. If I remember it, I might sing a little bit of it. So something could be going on with like gospel gospel music or old hymns or something like that. But nonetheless, th this is a collective after dark reading, so that's all signs. If I didn't say that already. So um let me show y'all what's at the bottom of the decks that I'm using. So we have number 29. I am insightful. And say, you are highly intuitive and creative. Your mind thinks in pictures, and you seem to draw information and ideas from out of the sky. A powerful drive to know the oneness of all things. Butterflies and, butterflies and gloom. After sadness, happiness and hope return. So y'all might have to tell somebody this. Collective, I'm picking up, you could be in like a very peaceful or calm energy. And you might have to tell somebody else this like after sadness happiness and hope return collective somebody could be 22 this you could be older than this person the person you might you might have to say this to could be 22 years old or somebody was born february 2nd um the numbers four could also be significant the numbers 22 the numbers 29 then we have nine it say discovery inquiry weirdness curiosity um, communicate clearly. I wish I could take back my words. So that's in love and romance. Then we got healing. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. We have amethyst, treasure, intuition. Um, practice moderation. So if somebody could be a Sagittarius, dealing with a Sagittarius. And we have time. Was I planning on use? Did I shuffle this deck? I don't think I even shuffled this stuff right here. But we got a fifth house. So somebody could be a Leo. Or got Leo placements. We have bustling hub. Social nexus. Lively activities. Cultural meeting. Me cultural melting pot. So something could be going on with a bustling hub. And we have uh, moving on. Thank you next. So, those are all the decks that I'm using right now. And let me see what's going on. And we got action. So, y'all could be dealing with a fire sign or got fire placements. They say baby steps are still steps and they're better than standing still. So, y'all could be dealing with somebody who could be a little discouraged. Or collective, you could be discouraged in encouraging somebody else so collective it's like you keep trying to cheer somebody up or encourage them and you could be a little discouraged so y'all could be collective somebody might dampen your dampen your mood a little bit so you might need to take some action to um like and help somebody else who needs a little bit who needs some type of encouragement so collective baby steps are still steps and they're better than standing still. 
So y'all might have to, uh, y'all could be dealing with a person and it's like you don't know what to do or what to say. And you might have to tell this person after sadness, happiness, and hope returns. Or something like that. So y'all might have to take action. Action could even be verbal. Take action and say something or something like that. Some type of action for self-care. So collective, I'm picking up you helping this other person is actually self-care for you. So this could be a child. It could be uh, a friend, a lover. But you taking some type of action. It could be it's self-care for you. So whoever this other person is that you're dealing with after their hours tonight, you're fond of this person or you care about this person. It's like when they're sad, you're sad or... When they're happy, you're happy or something like that. Or you don't like the you don't like to see this person sad or something like that. Or something. Collective, you could be 29 and this other person 22. This person could be younger than you. All right. Spirit, what's the collective's angel number? Okay, number seven. You guys could be Gemini's, dealing with a Gemini or got Gemini in placement. So you guys are brilliant after their hours tonight. You possess a very refined mind and a deep urge to uncover life mysteries. Your ability to acquire vast knowledge on both the informational and spiritual planes gives you a greater awareness than most. I also picked up, you guys could be counselors or therapist and maybe you on like on call or your services is 24 hour phone call a hotline or something like that so some of you guys that's what y'all do for work and you're on call or you deal with troubled clients or something like that and you're brilliant number seven and then this one flew out, but I'm not going to include that one. But it's a, I am kind-hearted. So you guys are definitely being kind-hearted to someone, but you are protected. So y'all could be dealing with clients, like with mental health issues and troubled, uh, troubled youth or troubled teens or troubled adults. So while you're being kind-hearted, you're also protected. So this could be your career or some type of employment for some of you guys. The work that you do. And whatever type of work that you do is like you're supposed to be kind hearted. But while you're being kind hearted, you're also protected as well. Well, y'all dealing with a lover or something or maybe an ex-lover. And you're being kind hearted, but you're still protected while you're being kind hearted to someone. <laughs> that you probably shouldn't be kind hearted to but you're protected so if y'all get I'm picking up if y'all let y'all guard down after after dark I was tonight it's for a reason or you're protected or it's, you're being wise about something or or this could be universal wisdom or something like that I heard wisdom or wise I heard that so, some of y'all could be dealing with a lover or an ex-lover. And somebody could be getting a little bit of karma. All y'all trying to get somebody crazy out your energy collective. So, I'm hearing de-escalate. So, y'all could be trying to de-escalate a situation or a person or calm somebody down or something like that. All right, Spirit, what's the collective's angel in your after our hours tonight so we have no so y'all might have to tell somebody no or you might get a no but y'all angel answer for after our hours tonight is no collective for some of you guys y'all might run into an ex and it's not what you say but how you say it so tell somebody no but just be mindful how you tell this person no Or collective, you might get a no. And this, um, yeah, it's the best for you. All 
I also heard collective for some of you guys you could be flirting with a with an ex or a potential new lover and this female or this man might tell you no I heard you have enough lovers or you already have a lover so I heard that too I heard I heard somebody have enough I heard somebody's being greedy but I heard this is involving lovers so collective you could be trying to be greedy you have more than enough you have however many lovers you have it could be one it could be two but I heard it's enough or it could be more but it's enough y'all could be Tauruses dealing with a Taurus or got Taurus placement or maybe y'all single and y'all have a lot of lovers and the angels are saying no you don't need another one <laughs> or something like that all right spirit what's the collective's crystal fact that are always tonight or this person might tell you no we have bloodstone get up get moving so some of you guys could definitely have to work like after our hours tonight i heard on call so get up get moving or this could be something going on with exercise or some of y'all got stuff to do get up get moving some of you guys if you a female don't have to be y'all probably have to clean up your house and straighten up the kitchen after you know the kids could have ate dinner or whatever this is y'all you guys want to tidy up or you should tidy up before you go to bed so i heard that too get up and get moving all right i also heard collective as you move around or walk around whatever you doing you're going to come up with a brilliant idea or it's like yeah y'all might have an aha moment when you get up and move around or something i also heard for somebody y'all might change your mind about something because y'all gonna realize something and you gonna say wait a minute i and you gonna like renege and tell somebody no but originally, you could have told this person yes, and y'all might change your mind. But it's like, you're not going to realize something or get a download until you get up and get moving. <coughs> Alright. Give me a message for the collective. Alright. So we have the fiery bee. Your life is sweet. So, collective, y'all life is sweet. The zodiac signs I'm picking up on is Gemini, Leo, Sagittarius. So, y'all could be Geminis, Leos, or Sagittarius. Or y'all dealing with those signs. Or y'all can have those signs in y'all birth chart. Or, collective, your life is sweet. So, y'all could be trying to acquire something and the angels are saying no. Your life is already sweet. So, some of y'all being greedy about something. It could be food, lovers, money, something. But, y'all life is already sweet. So, the angels might tell you no or you should tell somebody else no. Collective, if you like a very, like, greedy person... Or somebody know you stingy or something like that. Be careful with somebody testing you. So tell somebody no. Because somebody could be aware of something. Like your weakness or something. So tell somebody no. Or the angels or the universe will tell you no about something. Alright. Okay, it say you are rare and free. So the numbers 38 could be significant for you guys. Yeah. There are not many like you. So collective, the numbers 38, the numbers 83. So somebody's birthday could be March the 8th. Somebody could have been born in 1983. So the number 38, you break that down. I think that's a 2. Yeah. 38, it, it break it down to 11, then break 11 down, that's a 2. So, y'all could be 38 years old. So, you are rare and free. 
there are not many like you. I also heard collective what you do for work or your career is very not like non-traditional. It could be very non-traditional, your job or your line of work or your career. So you like, whatever you do for work collective, it's like you're behind the scenes or you work behind the scenes. So you are rare and free. There are not many like you. The fiery bee, your life is sweet. Or your life is going to be sweet after the hours tonight. Some of you guys can have a day off after the hours tonight. And you're like making the best of it. Y'all could be relaxing. Did I pull a self-care for y'all? <coughs> Why I keep, keep getting confused with this deck? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Maybe some of y'all don't know what to do for self-care or something. Some of y'all could be restless, too. All right, Spirit, what's self here for us at our office tonight? I don't know if I pulled one or not. So we have surprise. It says, release your expectations and be open to surprise. Yeah. So that's for y'all for self-care. Release your expectations and be open to surprise. Collective, for some of y'all, I'm here and don't assume. So somebody's going to tell you no or a spirit or the universe going to fix it to where you get a no. And collective, release your expectations and be open to a surprise about why no is here. Or why, you, why you're being made to tell somebody no. Or you might unexpectedly tell somebody no. So you're going to be surprised about the reasoning behind this no. It's not what you think. I heard don't assume. So release your expectations and be open to surprise. So for some of you guys, your life being sweet, it's going to be unexpected. Something, something like that. Some of you guys, y'all might get a call from your superior and you don't have to go to work. Like something like that. Or y'all might get a call from a lover or something. To like go out on a date or something. Something is going to be unexpected, but don't don't assume or something like that. Yeah, and then at the bottom was success. So all these gifts. So something could could be going on with gifts. It could be your birthday or somebody else's birthday, or some type of something. Yeah. So that's for self care for you guys. I also heard for somebody, more is not the merrier, or more is not a guaranteed success. So, collective, you could be thinking you need more of something to get something to go your way. And in, in, in this energy, you don't. More, more does not mean success or something like that. <clears throat> or y'all could be overly compensating. Like, trying to prove your loyalty to a lover and y'all could be doing too much or something. Or something. Alright. Yeah, I already pulled from this deck. So, let me get... Um, I'm going to pull one card for things, for things uh, activities, places, or things that's good and wholesome and safe for you. And I'm going to pull one card concerning things, activities, or places that you should be very cautious of. So, Spirit, give me a place, thing, or activity that's good, wholesome, and safe for the collective. After dark, I was. So, we have a bench. Rest and relaxation. Seating comfort. Pause and ponder. So, y'all could be taking a stroll or walking with someone. And you might be sitting on a, a bench or something. Rest and relaxation, seating comfort, pause and ponder. So it's okay to take a seat. I don't know what's going on. Collective, you could be at like a stranger's house or a new lover's house.
Somebody need to sit down too. So I'm hearing for some of y'all, listen to your body, listen to your intuition. Somebody need to sit down or relax. Or if a lover say, come take a walk with me or come sit down on, at, you know, at the park on a bench or something. It's, it's okay. So something going on with a bench or is the need for rest and relaxation or like listen to your intuition. If your uh, if your body telling you, you got to sit down. Somebody might feel faint or dizzy. It should sit down. And then it say pause and ponder. So some of y'all going to start thinking about something. Then you're going to say, wait a minute. I'm no. Or something. <laughs> so collective, maybe you're always busy. Or after dark hours tonight, you're busy. And somebody might ask you something. And you might say yes. But the wisest thing for you to say was no. So somebody might catch you off guard. And you might say yes when you mean no. And if you pause and ponder, you're going to say, wait a minute. And it's like you're going to tell somebody no or something. All right. Or if y'all doing some type of exercising or something, y'all should take um rest. Like whatever y'all doing. Take a rest. Like pause. Whatever this move, movement is. It's like, get up, get moving, but no one to pause or sit down and then get back up and, you know. So I'm hearing it's, it's the right way and a wrong way to exercise. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> it's a right and a wrong way to exercise. <laughs> Collective, for some of you guys, your life being sweet is your health. So y'all could be overdoing it with some type of exercise. Y'all could be over exerting yourself. And you're like healthy or something. Alright, Spirit, give me a place, place thing or activity that the collective should be cautious of. After dark hours tonight. Oh, a concert. Live performance music celebration so y'all be cautious about a concert if y'all outside around like a large group of people but you're not attending this concert be careful around a large group of people and it's a concert going on or something so just be careful Today is Saturday, and just be careful y'all surrounding. So you guys are either attending this concert, or you're like just outside around this event or something. But be careful. Some of you guys probably work at a concert. Maybe y'all work at the food stand, or... You're a vendor or something at a concert or something. Maybe I could be tired of standing up and it's like collective, you should sit down. It's like do your job, but if your body is telling you you got to sit down for a second, sit down or something like that. Don't overexert yourself. So y'all probably work like at a concert or something. Or so y'all performing or you just like a worker there. You could be a janitor um, or a vendor of some sort. Something like that. Spirit, give me a message for the collective from the guides. Yeah, forgive yourself. So collective, I don't know what's going on, but the guides is telling you to forgive yourself. Um, collective, for some of you guys, I'm hearing you kind of like ruined your own reputation. <laughs> so, Spirit's telling you to forgive yourself. So, I'm going to give an example. Collective, say like you work, you got to go into work because it's a concert. And you had this job for a year. In the first eight months, are you working at this job? You did everything your supervisor or your managers told you to do. It's like collective for the past two months. It's like you're tired 
or you don't want to work as much as you did in the past and it's like everybody is um asking you to do things or move around a lot because that's how you was at the beginning when you first got this job so i heard for some of you guys you ruined your own reputation and you're starting to notice something and you like damn now people think i'm a people pleaser or people think i'm this or i'm that and yeah so it could be a misunderstanding going on collective and you have to forgive yourself for some of y'all i heard you ruin your own reputation but it don't have to be nothing major so just forgive yourself because somebody could be like misrepresenting you or misunderstanding you or you're you're just changing or you don't you don't want to do as much as you did before or you're not as lazy as you was in the past or whatever this is <clears throat> whatever because it say release your release your expectations so collective this this, this could have been expectations that you have for yourself or something or collective you could have been trying to like not finesse somebody in a backfire but i don't know you could have been trying to do something. I don't know if your intentions was low vibrational or not. But something could be backfiring on you a little bit. Or you was being too hard on yourself or something. So this was expectations that you have for like somebody else or for yourself. Or something like that. Or collective, you might realize that you make somebody else feel bad about themselves. You make somebody feel bad about themselves. Yeah. Collective, for some of y'all, I'm hearing you owe it to this person to encourage them. Because you you the one who made this make this person feel bad about themselves or something. And that's why it's telling you to forgive yourself. So somebody could be sad because of you collected. Or something. And I don't know who this person is to you collected. But I'm picking up the energy you care about this person. Or something. Or y'all might realize something. Alright, Spirit, what's going on with the collective after dark office tonight? Okay, so we got the devil. So, collective, you could be a Capricorn dealing with a Capricorn. Got Capricorn placements or some devil energy out here. And somebody could be somebody third party. The Queen of Cups. Somebody could be pregnant. Somebody third party could be pregnant. A Capricorn could be pregnant. Or it's a pregnant female out here that's being very bitchy. So, collective, this could be you. It's like you're unreasonable. Because you could be pregnant or something. You could be in your second or third trimester. And you're very bitchy. Unreasonable. Unnecessary. The devil. Will of Fortune. If somebody was like emotionally manipulating somebody, it's karma attached to this person. That Queen of Cups could be emotionally manipulating somebody. And that Queen of Cups gonna get karma. Or collective view that Queen of Cups and you could be getting karma for emotionally manipulating someone in the past. Or um something you could have did earlier today. And you could be getting karma or something. So Capricorn, Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, the Will of Fortune, Pisces, and um, Sagittarius. Clarify the devil. The Eight of Cups. The 
Yeah. So somebody might emotionally walk away from a Capricorn. Or physically walk away from a Capricorn. Or somebody's going to um, stop with their devil energy. Or a Capricorn might walk away from somebody else. Or emotionally walk away from somebody else. <laughs> or somebody just is going to stop with their devil energy. Whether they're pregnant or not. Somebody's just going to stop doing something that devil energy. Clear out the queen of cups. I also heard somebody has to emotionally walk away because something not working no more. So collective, this could have been somebody uh, trying to get one up over you. And when you tell this person no after dark hours tonight, it's like this person like, dag, it's not even working no more. So it's like they got to leave that devil energy alone because it's like it's not working because you told this person no. So, y'all could be in a relationship and somebody wanted to be your third party. Well, this is your old third party and your old third party wanted to reconcile with you. And collective, you could be married or in a relationship. It's like somebody wants you to allow them to be your third party and you like, no. So, collective, this could be somebody after dark hours tonight calling you for like sex or reconciliation. Collective, for some of you guys, you might say, I can meet up with you and have a conversation with you, but we're not having sex. Or I'm not reconciling with you. Like something like that. Um, the Ace of Wands. Or this is a Capricorn who y'all should say no to or something. Somebody could be a Capricorn, a Sagittarius, or a Pisces, but this person got, like, water placements. Somebody's son is Capricorn, Pisces, or Sagittarius, but they got water placements. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. I heard because of somebody's water placements, or this person is a water sun sign. Somebody getting karma because of their water placement. Or a water sign could be getting karma. <laughs> then we got the um the high priestess. But some of you guys, I'm picking up collective. It was you and some like another party. And maybe both of y'all could be getting karma a little bit. It's like collective, you, you was manipulating someone, but it's like this person was allowing you to, or something, but it's like both parties is getting karma a little bit. So for some of y'all, it's just one person getting karma, and another group of y'all, it's like both parties getting karma, <coughs> or something like that, but in their own way. Yeah, so somebody could be getting karma for being the, the other woman. So it could be a pregnant female out here. It's like this female is realizing that she the other woman because she's pregnant. And maybe this man might abandon this woman. So it's a pregnant female out here that might get a reality check. And she's getting karma for being the other woman. Or somebody's going to regret keeping secrets. Somebody did something in the past, and they don't want this devil energy no more. They don't want to do this devil energy this, no more. And the devil energy is the high priestess. So, the high priestess could have been being the other woman or the other man. Or keeping secrets. Somebody don't want to do something no more. Yeah. And somebody been doing this since the past. I don't know how far the past is. But that Will of Fortune is attached to that Queen of Cups. And it's like the Queen of Cups is actually realizing that the Will of Fortune and the High Priestess was actually devil energy. And that Queen of Cups don't want to do it no more. 
or the queen of cups and another person is going to like they separate ways or somebody's going to stop doing something this could also be a man this man could have been dating somebody else's wife or dating somebody else's girlfriend and this man is like uh uh so something happened this could also be the, a man and he was the other man or something like that so what's the tea with the devil and the eight of cups yeah hustling yeah so somebody was hustling making it rain focused on money getting it yeah it could have been a low vibrational hustle so somebody's waking what somebody's walking away from a low low vibrational hustle or a low vibrational hustler What's the tea with the Queen of Cups with the Page of Wands? The, not the Page of Wands. Waiting, yeah. Somebody could have that Queen of Cups waiting. So somebody might ghost that Queen of Cups or the Queen of Cups was had somebody else waiting. But it's like the Queen of Cups was doing it on purpose. What's the tea with the Queen of Cups with the Ace of Wands? Tripping on you. So collective, you could be that Queen of Cups and somebody tripping on you. Or collective, the Queen of Cups could have been a third party. And the Queen of Cups is realizing that your lover is tripping on you. In spite of the Queen of Cups being pregnant by your lover. This could be your current lover or your ex. That Queen of Cups is the where somebody's tripping on you. And that Queen of Cups don't want to be the devil no more. Collective, your lover or your ex-lover could have been like hustling with the Queen of Cups or something. They was hustling together. So it's like business that turned pleasure or something like that. Or collective, you the Queen of Cups. And you could have been emotionally manipulating somebody. And you're realizing something not worth it. So this could have been a lover and like your lover is like tripping on you and you like this is going too far. Or collective something going on with your kids. Maybe you spoil your kids or something and now it's like they're like attached to you a little bit too much or something. So this is like a lover or ex-lover or like your children like tripping on you. And y'all was that queen of cups. So y'all could have been emotionally manipulating somebody or giving somebody too much love or it wasn't a balance. If this is like your kids or something. Somebody realizing something is like devil energy or something. Collective, for some of you guys, if you're like adults, and if you like have adult children, y'all could have been emotionally manipulating your, your children for money or your child for money. And collective, you might find out that your, your child was doing things low vibrational for money to give to you. And collective, that was not your intentions. And you might find out something that your child is doing, like some type of hustle. something so that queen of cups is you collective or the queen of cups is somebody else so the queen of cups is aware that somebody is tripping on you collective or collective you that queen of cups and you was doing something a bit low vibrational a little bit and now somebody tripping on you or collective you could have did a love spell on this man or this female but you didn't know this person get high this person probably eat smoke mushrooms or shrooms or something. Or something. What's the tea with the Will of Fortune and the High Priestess? Yeah, last chance. They lost their chance or you did. Yeah, so collective, for some of you guys, you might lose your chance. 
or this other person might lose their chance or it's going to be a separation whoever yeah something could be going on with child services and somebody talking junk So they lost their chance or you did. I also heard somebody's going to count their loss and just leave it. Yeah. Yeah, because something not worth it. What's this bill with husband? Yeah, no limits. Yeah. Nothing can stop them. Continues on without restrictions going their own way. Yeah. Collective. For some of you guys, you might have to let go of your third party. Because your third party don't have no limits. If you have a spouse or a main lover, your third party could be getting out of control. Or collective, you didn't know that somebody else didn't have no limits. It's like this person would have used you till they couldn't use you no more. And you had to say no to somebody or something. Somebody didn't have no limits or something. Well, collective, this is how you was in the past. With legal or illegal work. And now you could be a bit tired or something. Or you was working too much in the past or something. Or you was allowing somebody else to work you to death or something. Work, work you too much. Yeah, we got high vibes. High vibrational person, energy that feels good, light, and easy. So, collective, somebody could be tripping on you because you're a high vibrational person. Or somebody could have been take, taking your kindness for a weakness. What's this filled with uh, last chance? So somebody's karma for being like the other woman or keeping secrets is somebody's going to lose their chance or there's going to be a separation and that's the karma attached to something the queen of cups did in the past or something and we have the fifth house yeah so we have fifth house here so that's leo energy one's hobbies interests recreational and leisure activities what one does for entertainment and we have concert out here. So, I don't know if somebody was a professional groupie. I heard that too for somebody. And it's like, collective, if you or somebody else a professional groupie, it's best that somebody shouldn't do this after their hours tonight. It could be a concert going on. If somebody like a professional groupie or something like that. So somebody could have been keeping what they do for income or what they do for work a secret. That high priestess. Or this woman was trying to be the other woman, but it's like she started catching feelings. It's like this man kept it one way. You the other woman, you the other woman. And this female could be getting a reality check and she don't like it or something. I don't know if somebody on tour with somebody or supposed to go on tour or something with somebody. Somebody could be pregnant. It might also be a female that realized something. It's a man that can have a female pregnant and she could be in her second or third trimester. And this man is working this female to death. And the Queen of Cups is saying, if I was your girlfriend or if I was your wife, you wouldn't treat me like this. You know I'm sick. You know I'm this, I'm that, I'm pregnant. And you just working me to death or you're using me. And that Queen of Cups is realizing that's what I get for being the other woman or keeping secrets or something. 
or that queen of cups pregnant and don't want to tell somebody that queen of cups could be pregnant and that could be the secret the queen of cups didn't want to tell somebody she was pregnant <coughs> or something so the secret could be a pregnancy somebody working somebody to death or something or somebody yeah over is causing somebody to over exert themselves because this person don't care about this person or somebody don't know that somebody pregnant or something or somebody don't know that somebody a man that queen of cups could be a man dressed like a woman or something so collective if you or somebody else you know is like a cross dresser somebody need to be careful yeah uh, this i also heard that too this person is high vibrational they're like a cross dresser um but they keeping it a secret and somebody might regret keeping their uh their uh gender a secret or something yeah so somebody might also somebody might also have to pull back and just leave something alone before they get exposed or somebody might do a confession and collective that's why you might be surprised because somebody might confess something to you somebody gonna tell you they're a cross-dresser reveal their birth gender or somebody might tell you they're pregnant or something so release your expectations and be open for surprise because somebody might tell y'all something Somebody could be a man dressed like a woman. That Queen of Cups could be a man, but dressed like a woman is a man. And somebody was doing something for a hustle. So somebody need to stay away from like a, a large crowd of people or a concert. Because somebody at this concert might expose somebody or something. Or something might happen. I heard something going fall off or fall out so if this a man like dancing or something somebody need to be careful because somebody might find out that that queen of cups a man this man could be performing on stage and his wand might fall out or something by accident somebody better be careful or collective if you out and about and you around a group of people in a fight break out that could be why Cause somebody gonna find out somebody a transgender or something and you might get caught up in a situation or something so just be mindful about a concert or something or something like that but i heard something gonna fall out so the ace of wands to me could be a, a man's wand or sometimes this is like a a gun or something so somebody need to be careful um like a Beretta or a Glock or something. Somebody need to be careful with that Ace of Wands. I heard something gonna fall out. So this could be a cross dresser performing on stage and his wand fall out or something. So I'm gonna end it there. Um, so collective, enjoy the night. So this is Blood Queen Tarot. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. And, um, collective, enjoy your night, and thanks.